Okay, we're recording this performance, guys. We are doing the writing test. So uh, a, a demonstration of an actual writing exam. So this is my way to drill for my exam as well. So what do you see? What you see here is Einstein. So <clears throat> what I hope for you to do, guys, is to just click on this ellipsis, these triple dots. Click on that and then nakita niyo yung follow settings. Yan, click on that. And then, yan, favorites. Ha? Para all posting, will, you will be notified of all postings made. Is that clear? Okay. So, again, whoa, people are coming in droves. Okay. All right. So, again, that's uh, your page. You click like to it. Go to the ellipsis, click on that, and then follow settings. You see that? And then make sure that you are in favorites there. And <clears throat> don't click the other options. Okay. So we are in IELTS Einstein. So let's go to the groups. Okay. Angelica, have you joined the group already? Uh, the yeah. right. The writing group, this one, for example. Have you joined that? Yes. Yes. You have. You yes. Have. Okay. okay. I just turned off the TV. So let's click on that group, for example. And then clicking on that. So Dan, Angelica, these people are the January and Raleigh. So that's the one, guys. That's the one you'll see. Yes. So, yeah. I would like to point you out to four critical videos here that uh, I hope you can begin watching already. So uh, there, oh, people are coming in like crazy. Okay, this is Gladys Lopez, one of the dream catchers. So, okay. That was from October 29, last year. Uh, Gladys again. Uh, that's from Luisa Lucas. All of these are the dream catchers. So, okay, that's a crossover style. And then this series, guys, this series below. Mm, there, September 24, 2021. The A1, A2 style. So, you got to watch that. Uh, Tony, uh, Angelica, Dan. So, you got to watch that video. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, September 24, 2021. Then, eventually, as you go along, there, there are four videos. This one, the fastest way to score a band 6.5. Talking of the information age. There, you gotta watch that. That's four videos, guys. Next, the fastest way to score band 6.5 using the Great Depression. That's the second of the four. And then the fastest way to score band 6.5 using the Cognitive Revolution. And finally, the fastest way to score band 6.5 using the Industrial Revolution. So. Don't worry, in your essays, I will remind you to watch these. But in the meantime, yeah, we'll go to September 24 uh, on the A1 and the A2 style. So, okay, what's going to happen today is I'm going to be demonstrating a writing passage. So let's set up the alarms and clock, guys. I'm going to time myself. So... Oh, John is just joining the group. John, you just joined the group now. Okay. And Ellen, are you here, Ellen? Ellen is the new enrollee. Is she here? Okay. Member request. Girlie Francisco. Okay, I don't see Ellen. Anyway. So let's set up the alarming clock. And then let's time ourselves, guys. I will do Cambridge 9. I haven't seen it yet, so I don't want to look at it. And so to make the simulation more realistic. 
And then I will show you how I go about the process. Alarms and clock, that's the one. Okay, there you go. Okay, let's open that. Gosh, my computer is so slow. It's so slow, man. Okay, let's go, let's open, let's open. Okay, I can't wait for my students to send me a MacBook. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha. Yeah. Come on, give me a MacBook, guys. It's only like 100,000. It's like, it's peanuts for you. <laughs> okay, the alarm uh, application is opening up. So while waiting for that, let's go to Cambridge. Hi. Okay, let's X this thing out. X out on that there. Okay, and then I have a blank piece of paper here. That's what I will be using. Okay, this is Cambridge Nine. So, okay, so ooh, those are the speaking questions. <clears throat> so let's go down to the what happened? What happened? Okay, there we go. All right. We're going, you're scrolling down to the writing test here. Uh, I think we should do test one. You want to do that? Let's X that out. Uh, by the way, January people, I will be sending the first reading material by tomorrow already. It's the time for you to start reading already, guys. <clears throat> and then in preparation for that, you will see a demonstration of me doing that. So what test is this? This is test. Oh, what test is this? Mm -hmm. This is test section two. Test two. Okay, let's do test one, guys. So this is test one. Okay, there. So I don't want to look at it yet. So let's begin the clock there. So there, let's go with a one hour timer there. Okay, the time is running. So I open writing task one and it's a map. The two maps below show an island before and after the construction of some tourist facilities there. So this is before. So lots of open spaces. And then this is, oh, 100 meters. Then this is after. So, okay, let's do this. So wait, how do I make that smaller so I can snip it? Okay, I like maps. Uh, maps are quite easy to describe. You just, uh, the important thing with maps, guys, is you need to show your ability at using, um, uh, directional language there, like north, south, all that stuff, like beside, across, easy peasy. Let me just show that you can use this language. So let's uh, copy paste that over here. Time is running already. Yahoo there, copy paste that into our blank word document there. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, 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 it's taking too much time, guys. I can't wait for the MacBook. Send me the MacBook already. See, 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 look, it's not responding. Do you see that? Okay, so uh, <clears throat> in any case, for the new students, you can see video 19, which is talking of task one writing. You can actually view that as early as now already if you wanted to. There, that's it. on YouTube there, video 19, the 19th video. Okay, copy pasting guys. There, it's taking too much time. Maybe we should pause the clock. Okay. Uh,
remember, you should do task one for only 20 minutes and then do the task two for 40 minutes. So uh, please make sure you don't exceed 20 minutes for task one because that is only a third of your grade. So it wouldn't make sense to spend so much time on it. Just finish it as quick as you can. In the end, spend the remaining uh, 40 minutes for task two. What's happening, man? There, what's happening? C, C, C. I can't wait for the MacBook. I'll give you my address, have it delivered ASAP. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Finally. Okay, it's still not responding. See that, see that. Okay, there. So before and after. Okay, come on, guys. What's happening? It's not responding. There. Okay. You know, I must have spent five minutes already just copy pasting this. <laughs> okay. See, 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 nothing's happening. Damn, damn, damn. Okay. See, it has a mind of its own. Okay, mm -hmm. let's go. So, all right, let's put there. All right, there. So let's pretend this is the actual writing test, guys. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to outline. So uh, don't forget to prepare the essay first. So I'll create an outline. Mm -hmm. Come on. Jandy, are you there? Jandy? Yes, sir. Is Sheila with us? Yes, Bob. Okay. Tell Sheila to send me the MacBook quick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I don't know you. I'm sorry. Oh, she suddenly doesn't know me. Oh. Yeah. Okay. See, 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 it's not responding. Oh my God. It must have taken me already 10 minutes just to get word running. Okay. Uh, can you cut me some slack? Like, can you like give me five minutes off? <laughs> see, 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 every function, every function takes a number of seconds. So I'm going to outline first, guys. Like, can we like, can we like reset this thing? See, look at the time. Oh my, oh my, how many minutes have gone by already? Okay, there, yeah, let's just fix the paragraphing. I want a single space. Okay, damn. Okay, there you go. So, there are four attributes to task one writing. You will see that in video 19 on the YouTube page. So you first have, let's go word. Darn man. Darn it froze. Look at that, it froze. There, 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 there. Okay. <sighs> I'm so exasperated just waiting for this thing to work. Arr. Okay, we shouldn't have recorded this thing, man. <laughs> okay, let's put some, let's put some bullets there, bullet points. C, 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 every function takes so much time. There, pity your teacher, guys. Your teacher's suffering just to get you past. Just to get you to pass. Okay, there, somebody's chatting. What's the chat about? Okay. What's happening? It's not responding. Okay. I need a one terabyte solid state drive. Yeah, Jaddy, maybe you should set it over. <laughs> 
Aika. <laughs> okay. Come on, bullets. I keep clicking on it. It doesn't respond. Okay. Oh, man. How are we going to upload this thingy? Okay. Oh. See, 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 it's, nothing's happening. I think we should stop the recording, guys. There, okay, finally. Okay, you know that's part of the that's part of the IELTS exam. It will, <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna reply so slow. So first of all, you have the what we call the linguistic attributes. Come on, man. There, so linguistic attributes. So the attributes include so tensing. They are tensing over there. So as we can see, the illustration shows a before and after construction of tourist facilities. So for the before part, we will be using the past tense for this one. And then for the after part, we can use the like the present perfect tense. So past tense for before, simple past for before. Uh, but alternately, you can also use the simple present tense for the after. Okay. It froze again. It froze again. Okay. How are we going to upload this on YouTube? Simple past for the before. And then after that, we will use the, we can use the <clears throat> present perfect tense or the simple present tense. Present perfect. Uh, or a simple present uh, for the after part there. Okay, that's tensing. And then the next linguistic attribute refers to the nominals. So C, 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 there, okay. So nominals are nouns. So watch out for these nouns like footpath. So that's gonna be A, footpath. Watch out for those articles, guys. If you don't have these articles, you sound like you sound like a uh, foreigner. A there vehicle track. You don't have to type it like this, guys. I'm just typing it just for the purpose of the lesson. So a restaurant, who reception. So a restaurant. Then the reception is another trap. Like, so like we cannot say a reception. So maybe a reception hut, something like that, or a reception area, right? Something like that. Okay. Yes, yes, Dan, you were going to ask. Dan, a recep reception hut or area there. All of those are traps. And then trees, of course, and then huts. Oh, accommodation, and then C, beach. All of those are nouns, guys. So watch out for how you label them. So trees are just trees. And then uh, an uh, accommodation facility, something like that. You just can't say an accommodation. And then like uh, A, beach. And then uh, the, C, there, okay. Clearly, this is a nominal trapper. See, so many nouns. All right, and then let's now go into the semantic. Semantic attributes. So first we will talk about um, the overview. That's part of the semantics. So as can be seen, uh, various uh, infrastructures, have been uh, established on the island, uh, making sure not to affect its uh, endemic beauty and state, something like that. So that's the overview. And then of course, we will talk of the cluster. So when it comes to the clustering guys, uh, 
So what will happen is I will begin at a certain point. Maybe I will begin from the pier. There, up pier. There, up pier. A, pier. There. And you can see sailboats over there. So we'll begin there and then we'll walk down the island into the reception booth. And then from there, let's go down to the restaurant and then we'll go back to the reception hut at which point we will indicate the accommodation facilities on either side of the reception hut. And then we will now, so that's what you call a cluster guys. It's a strategy on how you will describe it. So, and then we will go further down into the pitch. That's what you call the uh, cluster. So with that said, that's the end of the outline, but if you're used to it guys, you can just, um, you can just uh, go ahead and just, Type it, it's all in your head there. So the introduction is merely the rephrasing of this one there before and after the construction of tourist facilities there. So the illustration, okay, illustrate what's happening. Reveals uh, two maps. Reveals two maps, uh, uh, demonstrating uh, some developments that have taken place in a particular island uh, for purposes of tourism. So there, that one is just the rephrase of I just rephrase this one, guys. There, before and after the construction of some tourist facilities. That's it. The illustration reveals two maps demonstrating some developments that have taken place in a particular area. Recording in progress. What's happening? Am I not recording? Okay. Oh, I'm still recording. Okay. So let's now proceed to the overview, guys. Right after that, the overview is here. Uh, overall, it is apparent that vast developments have been undertaken as evidenced by the creation of various, various tourism related facilities. Uh, and notably, making sure that the, what's the one? endemic the beauty and state of the island remains relatively preserved there okay and then let's now begin the before part uh in detail uh before construction there we will we'll be using the past tense for this one guys past tense uh it can be seen that the tadpole shaped island, this reminds me of Corregidor. Mm. Uh, in its pristine state, okay, mm, contains mm, what? Contains. Um, Vast what? Land areas, vast untouched, yeah, untouched land areas, uh, sprinkled with a few trees, and highlighting a beachfront to the western end of the said island. There is that the end of it. Mm, okay, let's inject this 100 meters thingy. Okay, the tadpole shaped island. Mm, oh wait, 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 wait. Let's inject that here, guys. Measuring roughly uh, 250 meters. 
meters in length and in its pristine state contained vast untouched land areas sprinkled with a few trees and highlighting a beach front to the western end of the islands. That's the end of it. And then let's now go into the, pre the present, this one, the after part. Okay. So let's type it up here, guys, so that we can still, uh, here we can still see, just copy paste it down later. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, uh, after successful uh, tourism development, uh, visitors, may now um, enter the island on its southern flank here uh, by means of a pier constructed to ease docking um, from the said pier. So now I'm using a, a descriptive language, guys. Uh, I mean, I'm using directional language there, the language of space. Mm, from the set here, visitors uh, now proceed to a reception hut located uh, straight in the middle of the island. And moving further, further, uh, a huge restaurant uh, is situated, or we can use has been situated um, on the opposite bank there. Um, and then we'll go back to the reception area, guys, uh, surrounding the reception area. Uh, are various uh, accommodation huts uh, linked together by a convenient footpath there. And then, ah, there's a vehicle. And, oh, wait, wait, wait. So, surrounding the reception area, wait, wait, wait. I need to inject the vehicle track. So we're gonna insert that here, uh, there. Visitors now proceed to a reception hut encircled conveniently by a vehicle track there. And the said hut located straight in the middle of the island and moving further, a huge restaurant has been situated on the opposite bank. Surrounding the reception area are various accommodation huts linked together by a convenient footpath. Uh, and then let's now proceed to the beach. Uh, with the western, uh, western part heading straight to the beach front there. Okay, is that the end of it? Okay, that's it. Ah, beachfront for swimming. Beachfront for, for swimming there. All right. And then I see some uh, sailboats here, guys. So maybe I'd like to inject that. That's the beauty of the computer delivered test. It's so easy to insert, right? Uh, after successful tourism development, visitors may now enter the island on its southern flank by means of a pier construct, constructed to east docking and to allow sailing uh, activities to take place there. Okay, Yahoo, we have covered it all. From the said pier, visitors now proceed to a reception hut encircled conveniently by a vehicle track and the said hut located straight in the middle of the island. And moving further, or maybe I'll just put a period to this one, guys, and then there. Moving further, a huge res restaurant has been situated on the opposite back surrounding the reception area are various accommodation huts linked together by a convenient footpath with the western part heading straight to the beach front for swimming. Okay, that's it. That's the end of my essay. I'll just copy paste this accordingly there. Any questions? 
There, you like it? You like it? Can we like pause the time? Because I'm going to discuss this, guys. Is that okay? There, okay. Let's see. How many words did that take me? Mm -hmm. I think I'm happy with that essay. Okay, that took me 198 words. So not bad. We are only supposed to write 150 words back. But we just exceeded by 48 words. Yeah, hey, be with that. Okay, let's just continue the discussion later. Cause uh like so now, guys, we may now delete all of this. Uh, make sure you do not submit that there. So let's proceed to the next topic prompt. Oh my god, I only have 36 minutes, sir. Okay, so my computer appears to be running, humming along smoothly. Some experts believe that it's better for children to learn, begin learning for a language at primary school rather than secondary school. Guys, this is actually one of the 20 essays that you will be writing. So, darn. Okay. That one is so... This one is so familiar to me. It's one of your 20 essays, so... There, you get a bonus. You get to look at my rendition of this particular question prompt. I think this is essay number, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is essay number uh, 14 there. Okay, so I'm gonna do the outline first. So, uh, so for the outline, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to isolate each and every word. No? So, uh, okay, some experts there. Some experts believe. Uh, guys, reserve the questions for later because uh, time is running. That it is better for children to begin learning a foreign language at primary school. There. So, what are the arguments pertaining to this? So, um, remember, we are just outlining. So we can say that it's better uh, because uh, children's minds are pliant and absorb information more easily, like a sponge. Yeah, okay. And then what else? Mm, foreign language learning is a difficult endeavor entailing many years of dedicated study. <clears throat> and thus, the earlier a child starts, the better it will be there. Okay, and then what else? Mm -hmm. Okay, we can say that in primary school, many subjects are still in their fundamental stages. Uh, hence, making it um, uh, more uh, advantageous uh, to incorporate uh, foreign language learning. Okay, but guys, there is such a thing as Dan secondary school. Do you see that? Dan secondary school. So there, Dan secondary school, CCC. So what I'm doing, guys, is cardinal rule two. Every word or phrase in the question prompt should be expounded, expanded, explained, and elaborated. So if you notice, I went through here, there, 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 up to there. And then I'm now here in this part here. So then secondary school. So the bullets pertaining to that is uh, somewhat related to this one there, like mm, older learners. Uh, have less, uh, what's the nice adjective for this, guys? Have less um, adjustable uh, brain constitutions. There. 
then all the learners are somehow um, um, wait what's the word for it there's a word are somehow preoccupied is the word with uh, more uh hmm, there's another word there's another word with more um, uh, with more pursuits an adjective more um, trivial pursuits there pertaining to their developing self-image uh, among their peers there. Okay, and then there, so we will just say, so whatever is said here, we will just cite the opposite here. So, you know, I, I taught French for two years in high school and I tell you it doesn't work. I mean, they're old, they're already old. They should have started like when they were like five years old or something, high school students. Um, beginning their foreign language education. Mm, would only end up in uh, a severely limited learning curve there. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. And then, okay, we will just state there that uh, there. Mm, older students are exposed to more difficult uh, subject matter that would altogether complicate uh, any attempts at foreign language learning. There. there. So I'm quite familiar with this topic, guys. So this is going to be quick. So, and then do the advantages of this outweigh the disadvantages. So, this one refers to the advantages of children learning at, the, at primary school. Does it outweigh the disadvantages? So, the advantages are already here, guys. You saw that. So all we need is to cite the disadvantages there. So we're not going into the disadvantages there. So the disadvantages, okay. So if you if you notice guys, all I do is I just look, I, I frequently refer back to the question prompt. The question prompt is really the, the uh, it really sets the parameters as to the scope of your discussion. So do not read the question from uh, cursorily. I mean, go deep into it, guys, and make sure you're expounding, expanding every single word or phrase there. So the disadvantages for early language learners is uh, uh, this could burden uh, young minds. I'm not ready for such learning then uh, what else uh, this could result in confusion with the native language any other disadvantage uh -huh. mm, okay i think we should stop there so that's like your first paragraph guys this is like the first paragraph this is like the second paragraph. So we have discussed the advantages and the disadvantages. And so guys, uh, if you have gone through uh, the regimen already, like uh, maybe if you are already at SA, what, SA 8, then you know that what we will need here is a problem solver. So I will inject a third body paragraph. This is the first body paragraph there. That's the second body paragraph. And then we'll go into the third body paragraph wherein we say that, uh, so notwithstanding, here, any 
uh, valid concerns as regards to the readiness of children. You know, I can just copy paste these guys already. Um, um, for foreign language education has already been, um, uh, what's the word for it? Uh, falsified here yeah. by linguistic research. Which reveal that children uh, experience no apparent difficulty, no matter the complexity of the foreign language being learned, all as a result of a client and receptive mind there so we somehow killed that part no. they are not ready for such learning that's not true yeah uh, in fact you can teach a child five languages if you wanted to by the time the child hits 10 years old he's so fluent in all of them like uh he can speak français he can speak he can speak english he can speak tagalog you can speak like the British English or the American English. All of those guys. Very easy for the child. Wow, man. Should have learned foreign languages when you were younger. Should have learned like Japanese. Hot souls. Hot do more Okay, and then the confusion. And this additionally addresses the concern as regards to confusing one's native language with a foreign tongue. There, research has repeatedly proven this to be of a non-consequential suspicion. There guys, we have solved the problem there. This is going to be our first body paragraph there. This is going to be the second body paragraph. This is going to be the third body paragraph. There. And then we can now conclude accordingly there. So conclusion. So the conclusion merely summarizes everything that has been discussed. Mm, to bottle the end, uh, there have been indeed many mm, objections as to the proposal of in, in introducing, injecting uh, foreign language education for the early years uh, with some uh, of the mm, What's the word for it? Some of the I forgot the word. It's at the tip of my tongue. Uh, proponents. There's a word. I forgot it. Uh, I forgot that word. Mm, expressing uh, understandable understandable i'm losing the words to bottom and there have been indeed many objections as to the proposal of injecting foreign language education for the early years with some of the proponents expressing understandable uh -huh. there's a word um Doubts. I hope I remember it later as to its. Um, there's another word. Uh, the words are not coming into my head. Um, efficaciousness. There's another word, guys. I can't remember. Uh, nonetheless, science has already. 
settle this dispute. Long ago. And hence, the obvious retort is to uphold this practice for the sake of the future generation. So that's it, guys. Okay, I hope I have time to look back on it and just, there are more precise words, but I just cannot remember it. Even doubts, objections. Anyway, then all that's needed now, guys, is the introduction. So let's now copy paste that into the essay proper, guys. Do I have time? Well, I have 20 minutes left. Ah, hoo, 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 hoo. That's the beauty of the computer delivered. Okay. So let's now write this essay to its full extent. So this is really your scratch paper, this answer key by itself, guys. And just make sure that you delete all the notational uh, notations that you have made. So we are now in the essay proper there. Okay, we will now go into the introduction. So uh, there is an interesting controversy as regards to the implementation of foreign language learning uh, wait, as regards to the age of the implementation of foreign language learning in schools. Mm, well, some people believe that it is best to introduce such to younger learners Guys, I mean, as soon as the child is learning how to speak, you already teach the child. You don't have to wait for five years old or three years old. I mean, by two years old, the child is already having their first words. Why don't you just teach them some Mandarin Chinese already or some Japanese or whatever, some Ilocano. Teach that all. I mean, your, uh, your, your grandparent is going to teach like the local dialect and then you're teaching English and then the tita is teaching Japanese and then somebody else is teaching French. It's not even teaching, you're just exposing the child and the child is just gonna pick that up. Man, after by five years old, the child is so well versed in all of those languages. Mm, uh, there are concerns as regards to the uh, veracity of its effect. There. Okay, that's it. That's just the uh, introduction. Okay, uh, let's just inject the second one. Uh, uh, there are concerns as regards uh, and uh, some uh, possess the preference to um, inculcate such learning in the older years there okay okay so older learners can learn foreign languages but it's it's a more difficult climb it's not like kids there it's so easy to them okay so let's just copy paste this guys here mm, to begin with there let's just copy paste there some people believe some experts believe it's better for children to begin learning a foreign language at primary school. Uh, for the uh, the words are escaping me. Let's just use simple words. Okay, it's a word again. Client can absorb it more easily like a sponge there. And then as all who have attempted a test, their foreign language is a difficult endeavor entailing many years of dedicated study and thus the earlier a child starts, the better it will be. Okay, and then in primary school, many subjects are still in their fundamental stages, hence making it even more advantageous to incorporate foreign language learning. And then guys, I'm just gonna inject an argument that I suddenly remembered. Um, by the time the learner is 
uh, arrive at their later years, they will now be more ready to um, reap the benefits of a more highly globalized environment there. Can you imagine if a child can speak French, Ponce, and then Japanese and Mandarin Chinese and German? Wow. Wow, man. Okay. Wait, it's asking me to save the file. Let's just save this file first before we forget, guys. So that's it. That's the first body paragraph. And then where do we save it? We will save it in. Mm -hmm. uh, documents there. Okay. Where do we save it? Oh, uh, I just use the old fashioned icons. Let's save it here. Let's save it under the IELTS Einstein file there. Any questions so far, guys, while I'm doing this? Are there any questions? No, sir. No, no questions. Everything, everything clear. It just so happens, guys, I'm in linguistics and so familiar with this topic. I mean, this is so fast for me. Okay, so let's go into the writing workshop there. And then let's go into live writing there. Okay, and then let's label this as Cambridge 9 test 1 here. Okay, that's done. So, there, we will just inject the set. Uh, meanwhile, there, uh, mm, introducing foreign languages to secondary school pupils. Uh, would surely prove to be a failure. Uh, prove to be um, a certified failure. Okay. Uh, for the reason that even in pronunciation, I tell you guys when uh, when a uh, Kids are in high school, they can't even pronounce. They can't, they have a hard time pronouncing French. Like pronunciation. Pronunciation. Older learners have less adjustable brain constitutions and are somehow preoccupied there with more trivial pursuits pertaining the de development of their self-image among their peers. Yeah, that's the more important thing for them. <laughs> and then uh, high school students beginning their foreign language education would only end up in a severely limited time learning curve. Uh, and lastly, Older students are more exposed to more difficult subject matter that are altogether complicated in terms of foreign language learning. That's it. That's a big paragraph, guys. Okay. Let's just uh, group that all together there. Okay. So, so far, so good, guys. We have had the introductory paragraph there. And then we have this big paragraph. And then we now need to discuss the disadvantages of foreign language learning. There are disadvantages there. So we already have the bullets. So again, I would like to emphasize the importance of the outline. Please bullet your essay. Don't just go typing away, right? You have to plan the essay first there. So um, notwithstanding, some advantages, disadvantages do exist there. Okay. So and then let's put the marker primarily. Uh, this could burden young minds uh, not ready for such learning, such as introducing <coughs> the intricacies of grammar. 
um, as well as vocabulary building there. I tell you guys, you just ask the child to watch YouTube. My God, they're going to learn that language. Whoa, man. Okay. And additionally, apropos, I want to use this word, apropos this. Uh, this could result in confusion with the native language the child grew up with there. Okay, those are just uh, two disadvantages. And then we'll now go into the third body paragraph. Uh, Notwithstanding, uh, okay. Mm, to address these uh, objections there. Okay, any valid concerns as regards of the readiness of children for uh, foreign language education has already been falsified by linguistic research, which revealed that children experience no apparent difficulty, no matter the complexity of the foreign language being learned as a result, all as a result of a client and receptive mind. This additionally addresses the concern as regards to confusing one's native language with a foreign tongue. Research has repeatedly proven this to be of a non-consequential suspicion there that's it guys see how fast it is when you have the outline it's just a copy paste right guys to bottle the hand there have been indeed many objections as to the proposal of injecting foreign language education for the early years with some of the proponents expressing understandable doubts as to its efficaciousness nonetheless science has already settled this dispute long ago and hence the obvious retort is to uphold this practice for the sake of the future generation, mm, equipped for the challenges of a globalized world. Okay, and then uh, this writer believes that the advantages mm, heavily outweigh any disadvantages. That's it, guys. So do we have time? still have time we still have 10 minutes we still have time to sleep so let's go through it again guys and then let's not let's not forget to delete everything ha because you know the examiner might interpret it to be part of the essay but uh, not realizing that it's really just your outlines just your scratch paper there okay so there is an interesting controversy as regards to the age of the implementation of foreign language learning in schools. While some believe, some people believe that it is best to introduce such to younger learners, there are concerns as regards to the veracity of its effectiveness. And some possess the preference to inculcate such learning in the older years. This is the big paragraph, guys. To begin with, some experts believe that it's better for children to begin learning a foreign language at primary school for the reason that children's minds are pliant and absorb information more easily like a sponge. As all who have attempted a test, foreign language is a difficult endeavor entailing many years of dedicated studies. And thus, the earlier a child starts, the better it will be. In primary school, many subjects are still in their fundamental stages, hence making it even more advantageous to incorporate foreign language learning. By the time the learners arrive at their later years, they will not be ready to reap the benefits of a more highly globalized environment. Meanwhile, introducing foreign languages to secondary school pupils surely proved to be a certified failure for the reason that older learners have less adjustable brain constitutions and are preoccupied with more trivial pursuits pertaining to development, pertaining to their developing self-image among their peers. High school students beginning their foreign language education only end up in a severely limited time learning curve. And lastly, older students are exposed to more difficult subject matter that would altogether complicate any attempts at foreign language learning. We're now going to the final paragraphs there. Notwithstanding, 
some disadvantages do exist. Primarily, this could burden young minds not ready for such learning, such as introducing the intricacies of grammar, as well as vocabulary building. Apropos this, this could result in confusion with the native language the child grew up with. Okay. In fact, the Konyo kids in Manila, guys, right? They grew up learning English and Tagalog, and they somehow combined the two languages, resulting in what we call the Konyo language. Yeah, right? it's so in it naman here. There's so many tao. I don't like it here. Let's make takas na, you know. <laughs> To address these objections, any valid concerns as regards to the readiness of children for foreign language education has already been falsified by linguistic research, which revealed that children experience no apparent difficulty, no matter the complexity of the foreign language being learned, all as a result of a pliant and receptive mind. This additionally addresses a concern as regards to confusing one's native language with a foreign tongue. Research has repeatedly proven this to be a non-consequential suspicion. To bottle the end, there have been indeed many objections as the, to the proposal of injecting foreign language education for the early years. So the conclusion, guys, is just a summary, right? We are just neatly summarizing everything that has been discussed. That's the conclusion. With some of the proponents expressing understandable doubts as to its efficaciousness. Nonetheless, science has already settled this this dispute long ago, and hence, the obvious retort is to uphold this practice for the sake of the future generation equipped for the challenges of a globalized world. This writer believes that the advantages heavily outweigh any disadvantages. So I think I'm ready to submit that already. We still have six minutes left. Uh, if this were the actual exam, then maybe I will try to. There have been some repetitive vocabularies, like, for example, the pliant, the term pliant there. Client, maybe I'll try to rephrase that since there is still time. And some disadvantages. Anyway, but whatever happens, I'm sure this is, uh, at the very least, it's going to score band eight already because, I mean, it's a really comprehensive essay. It really covers, there's a lot of argumentation and then goes to all sides of the issue and then it resolves the controversy well towards the end. So there, that's it. Okay, guys, saving that document. And then I will stop the recording first, guys. Let's go into the questions. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> 